A Catholic grade school in the Middleton area is fighting to stay open as Pierce funding has dwindled after COVID. New at 10, Grace Alch has you covered on where fundraising efforts stand now and how they hope to move forward. We're really trying to come together and be solutions based on how we can keep our 158 year school open. Lachelle Lentz has two daughters at St. Peter's School, one in fifth grade and one in first grade. Lent says her daughters love the school as much as she does. What's lovely about it is there's four classrooms and it's basically mixed ages together. So you have fourth and fifth graders in the same classroom, second and third graders, first and kindergarten, and they really help each other learn and grow. These classrooms have seen over a century of students, but priest for St. Peter's Parish, Father Scott Jablonski, says the school's future is now in question. Lent says after COVID, St. Peter's saw a dip in parishioners, meaning the parish can't cover its typical percentage of tuition. But Lentz and other parents are urgently exploring every last possibility to keep the school open. Can we do some quick financing, uh, some quick money raising so that we can get enough operating budget to fill the gaps that the parish can't handle anymore? In addition to raising tuition, St. Peter families are also asking for help from the community. In just under two weeks, they've raised more than $400,000 of their $500,000 goal. If we can get all of those things in the next 30 to 60 days, we can probably keep the school alive. Lent says as parish and school staff continue to manage their typical chaos, parents are working hard to help see another 150 years of St. Peter's students. And it's been such a close-knit, caring family that once you spend a little bit of time here, you just know it's special and different, and we hope to keep it going for years to come. In Ashton, Grace Alch, 27 News. Len says families hope to hit their fundraising goal by April. If you'd like to donate to St. Peter's School, you can find their donation page on our website, WKOW.com.